amazing. It was very good. So give it all you can. Okay? Enjoy it. Thank you. One and a half year ago, I received the first invitation to work with Molte Philharmonic Orchestra. And I think this tour is a, yeah, the start, the beginning of huge, long journey. And I believe that the future of Malta Philharmonic after this tour will be very bright. It's very important cities, you know, decision maker cities. Yeah, we're here in Munich at the Gasteig and we just stopped rehearsing, in fact. Um, each concert is different. The energy of each public is different. You, you feel different on each day and the orchestra too. The more you play the same concert especially, the, the more you grow together. And uh, so I'm very happy that we play now in, in Stuttgart, uh, in the Liederhalle, in Wiesbaden and in Berlin Phil at the end. When you know there is a number of concerts, few concerts, you want to spend more time on thinking what should you do on the next concert because I believe that when we communicate with musicians, they are also just expecting something new and what we will do now. For musicians, it's an interesting process. We're playing in one of the best halls in Europe. It's very motivating for, for all of us. It is indeed a great one, and there have been some amazing orchestra that have performed here. So in many respects, coming here, it's really a big task to carry on. It's a huge honor for every each one of us. And it's not just an honor, it's also a joy, because this is the first time that Malta Philharmonic Orchestra is representing the country in such big halls. And this is something that it's giving Europe a flavor of what there is in the island of Malta. We are in very exciting times. to the concert yesterday, it was very wonderful. Two days ago, we performed the first concert, uh, the first of our five concerts here in Germany. We were all very excited on the stage and I think never heard the orchestra play with such energy and such dedication. You could see that in the reaction of the audience, uh, which was in fact overwhelming. Playing in these wonderful halls uh, gives us a new idea of how orchestra can sound. And it was uh, in fact overwhelming for us as well uh, to experience that because uh, it, the instrument sounds different, the general sound of the orchestra is much more open, so we were really happy to experience that. And uh, we are also very, very uh, eager to see how it will sound in the Liederhalle, because Liederhalle is also one of the very famous halls in Germany.
It's a very professional language. It's a professional energy during the first meeting, uh, rehearsal, uh, then discussions, problems, uh, solutions, negotiations. Uh, it's a period, I mean, it's a time that we spend um, during the rehearsal. It's, it's, it's magic, it's like a chemistry, how it works, and if, if it works, it works also during the concert. But of course, the first experience, uh, this is the, the very sensitive thing that it's hard to describe. With Malta Philharmonic, it was extremely warm welcome, and I'm extremely happy for this. Two notes. There, yeah, don't push him. Pam, 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 pam. Piano. Good. Can we do 25, please? 25? Just, I will show you something. 25. E Watch me. One of the great things about this tour is the venues, of course, and we have our own unique sound, and it's great that we're presenting Maltese culture to a foreign audience, but it's also great to hear the orchestra in these amazing acoustics. Absolutely. So you actually hear it like a, a better orchestra and a different orchestra than we hear it at home. We are all thought in different countries, in different schools, and mm. there are slight differences, but when we are joined together, it makes, uh, uh, it makes the sound that much more rich there is a general feeling of proudness that we get to perform in these wonderful halls. So these are exciting times. As always, the second performance is always more round, more together, more, you know, we breathe together more than the first concert, although the first concert was already very good and um, so I look very much forward to today. stop of the European MPO tour and we are in the Kurhaus in Wiesbaden and um, it's a beautiful Art Nouveau hall so this is quite different to the other two halls where we have been and I think this hall is also very special for the Malta Philharmonic and um, I think until a few years ago it was quite unimaginable really for the orchestra. Bar number four, start piano, okay? Bar number four, start the piano, all, fiati and strings. So let's start once again, this was your tempo, right? That's good.
chief executive of the Motor Philharmonic Orchestra is Mr. Sigmund Massoud. Um, I have known Sigmund for many years, actually. Then in 1997, um, new auditions were held and they formed what was then called the National Orchestra of Malta. And both Sigmund and myself, along with a few of the other musicians who are still here today, joined at that time. As an ex-musician, I believe that every musician projects his own character in, through his music. We have a Mediterranean culture. Um, we are very passionate about what we do. Um, uh, and I believe that this is reflected in, in our sound. It's wonderful to have someone who has previously been a musician in an orchestra who knew exactly what was lacking and what we all wished to have. And he made it a point, I think, when he took over this job to try to achieve as many of these goals as possible. on the 50th anniversary from the founding of the orchestra. It's a huge responsibility for me to work with the orchestra and to, 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 to perform with the orchestra during the historical tour for the special anniversary. I'm very pleased that Sergei also um, was very enthusiastic about including uh, Maltese composition and we commissioned this composition for David Carpenter as an opening and at the same time as, as a solo piece for viola and it's, it's, it's an honor uh, for, our, for, for our Maltese composer Albert Garcia to have his music played in such venues. This is the first time we're playing in the amazing Berlin Philharmonie Hall. So for me to be here, um, you know, performing Albert Garcia's uh, Kuhn um, in, in this beautiful venue is, is just a dream come true. For me uh, personally, just it, it really is a pleasure being on tour because one of my passions is performing for people. And that's something I absolutely love to do. It really is a dream come true to be performing in all these venues. And I think on tour, you kind of, you, you begin to understand more about yourself, your sense of style, um, your playing style, the way you interact with musicians, your, you know, the, the, the attentiveness you have to each detail. Uh, and for me, it's just been a great progress, to, you know, it's just from the very beginning. You could hear the orchestra just coming together as, as one unit um, as well. So it's just a really beautiful thing just to kind of interact and get to see all this, this incredible music making happening during this week. During the tour you describe also how you can react on music. Every time it will be totally different. I mean, you can't make the same, you, you can't perform in the same way because it's, it, it's magic. Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 5, every time for me it's like a new piece. Not only just it's famous, it's a beautiful the music, but the Tchaikovsky music can be very sensitive. You know, the musical process is not just a metrical thing that, yes, this is the score, this is the music, and, and that's it. What you can do, what you can ask the orchestra during the concert, and you feel the immediately reaction 
of musicians, of your colleagues. It's very natural and uh, in the music of Tchaikovsky it works perfectly. now in uh, the historic music Verein of Vienna. This historic building had many, many great musicians and to this day it's a uh, Parnas. It's the highest point of a musician career to play here. we have two soloists, Nare Argamanian and Ingolf Wunder. To work with different soloists on the same piece, it's very interesting. Uh, and I can see this also in the eyes of the orchestra, then same phrase, same music, I mean, even the same tempos, metrically, but different colors, different energy, different interpretation. Travel Notebook. It was originally composed for solo piano. It was a piano cycle and it included 12 movements. Alexei Shore orchestrated and each part is like a nostalgia. He goes to each town close to his heart and he describes his feelings through the music. I spoke with, with Alexei Shore about the, uh, about the interpretation and I know that also pianist Ingolf and Nare contacted with. That's why I believe that they know what they want to hear from themselves. Aside from winning competitions a while ago, both of these pianists have developed into world-class stars. And uh, I know Nare very well. She's the one who premiered this piece several years ago and played it many times around the world. I've seen Sergei work with multiple orchestras and he always brings his amazing energy to all the rehearsals. He is always extremely well prepared. He has great understanding of nuances of music and the nuances of orchestral sound. It's wonderful to sit in the rehearsal and see how, like take after take, the sound of the orchestra changes and gets better and better. And gets in line with, with his vision. I think uh, we have a good working relationship with the orchestra. They are familiar with my musical language. And I hope it becomes a widely internationally recognized orchestra, as I think it deserves to be. The fact that these tours are happening uh, is an indication that uh, it's, things are going in that direction. <laughs>
are an orchestra in development, we need to continue to invest, we need to grow and also as musicians and also uh, to continue the investment in the academy um, because we need to upgrade the music education of our country and we as Malta Philharmonic Orchestra we believe we can encourage um, our young musicians to dream to become the uh, next uh, professional musicians. The orchestras like Malta Philharmonic Orchestra, new orchestra on the market with a fresh feeling and extremely warm um, relations between the musicians. It's also very important for the orchestra. Um, I believe that a uh, great future is coming up.